It is important that you and everyone who operates a Bobcat skid steer loader understand proper machine operation and recognize situations that could result in an accident, injuring yourself or someone working with you. During the next few minutes, you will learn some basic safety rules and instructions associated with the operation of the Bobcat skid steer loader. Skid steer loaders are self-propelled machines that are unique in their compact, rugged, and highly maneuverable design. As with all types of machines, they must be operated safely. Although this presentation contains many valuable safety guidelines, it should not be treated as the only source for skid steer loader safety information. The operation and maintenance manual is your primary guide for safe loader operation. Another excellent source is the skid steer loader safety manual produced by the Association of Equipment Manufacturers. And some attachments are also provided with a separate operator's manual. It is essential that you become familiar with the operation of your particular skid steer loader. You will see this safety alert symbol throughout the presentation as well as in various manuals, the Bobcat Operator's Handbook, and on machine safety signs. It identifies important safety messages. When you see it, be alert to the possibility of serious injury or death. Always follow the instructions in the safety message. This symbol points out actions you should avoid to reduce the potential for injury. Once you have familiarized yourself with the machine, make certain you are dressed for the job. Do not wear loose clothing or anything else that may catch on controls or in moving parts. When getting on the loader, face the machine. Use the grab handles and steps, maintaining a three-point contact at all times. Now adjust the seat. Always fasten the seat belt for restraint. Adjust it so that it is snug across your hips. Now lower the seat bar. Bobcat loaders have a control interlock system. The system should be inspected and maintained for proper function as required by the manufacturer. Take time to read the Bobcat operator's handbook and any safety signs or other instructional decals in the cab on other areas of the loader or the attachment. The safety signs are important and will help you avoid situations that could result in serious injury or death. All Bobcat loaders are equipped with other safety features. The cab is the most obvious. The structure provides falling object protection, or FOPs, and rollover protection, or ROPs. The FOPs and ROPs should never be removed or modified. All cabs have a rear opening or a secondary exit. Your particular job application could require additional accessories or equipment, such as a special applications kit to restrict materials from entering the cab, single point lifts, or a backup alarm. Now check the steering lever controls. The control patterns and functions may vary depending on the machine. Some Bobcat loaders are equipped with hand controls, which allow the operator to steer and operate lift and tilt functions by hand simultaneously. As you can see, it is extremely important to be familiar with the particular Bobcat loader you are operating. Although the models may be different, one thing remains the same. Moving the steering controls smoothly is the best way to operate a skid steer loader. You are working with a hydrostatic transmission. The loader will react the moment you move the steering levers forward or rearward. The further the levers are moved from the neutral position, the faster the loader will go. While hand levers generally provide travel and steering control, foot pedals and oar hand controls operate the lift arms and the attachment. Other controls provide for activation of the auxiliary hydraulic system to operate backhoes, grapples, augers, and other attachments. Now let's talk about starting the machine. Ensure the brake is on and the area is clear of all bystanders. Start the engine. Never attempt to start the engine or operate the controls from outside the operator's position. This is dangerous and could cause serious injury or death. For example, the lift arms, attachment, or the loader itself could move. Always sit in the operator's seat to operate the machine. Check all controls, gauges, and warning lights. 
maintenance of your loader might be necessary before you begin operating. Once the engine is started and the engine throttle is set, get familiar with the operation of the loader and its controls. Run the loader at a reduced speed until you understand and can control the operation of the loader. Each Bobcat skid steer loader has a rated operating load. These load limits must not be exceeded. Overloading could cause tipping and result in injury and damage to the machine or attachment. Bobcat loaders are provided with different size buckets for use with different materials. Be sure to use the correct attachment for your job and always make sure your attachment is properly secured using the Bobtatch mounting system provided. Safe handling of loads requires care and good judgment. Here are a few basic guidelines. Never ram a bucket into a material pile. The loader has more power with only minimum movement of the steering controls. Always carry the load as low as possible for the best stability and visibility. Operate the controls smoothly, keeping your hands on the controls and your feet on the foot pedals or foot rests at all times. Never stand, lean, or reach out the front of the loader when the engine is running. A steering control lever or hydraulic control could be activated. Don't make any sudden stops, starts, or turns. Again, operate the controls smoothly. Avoid rough terrain if possible. Be careful on slopes and avoid traveling across steep slopes. Drive straight up or down slopes and keep the heavy end of the loader uphill. With no load, the rear is heavier. Refer to the operator's manual for specific instructions for your loader. Slow down as you approach the dump site. Raise the load slowly, keeping your load level to prevent spilling over the back of the bucket. Never lift, swing, or move a load over anyone and never allow anyone to reach under or stand under raised lift arms. Always look to the rear before backing up. Look in all directions before moving and keep bystanders away from the machine. Never carry riders on the loader or on attachments. A Bobcat skid steer loader is strictly a one-person machine. Be aware of potential job site hazards such as overhead power lines and underground gas lines. If you must work in an enclosed area, make sure you have adequate ventilation. Exhaust fumes can kill or cause serious illness. When parking or leaving the loader, never leave the loader's seat with lift arms raised or with the engine running. Remember, always lower the lift arms and attachment flat on the ground. Stop the engine, remove the ignition key, and engage the parking brake. Move the controls until they're locked. Follow the procedure outlined in the Operation and Maintenance Manual and on the loader's machine safety sign or decal. If the lift arms must be left in a raised position for service work, they must be supported by an approved lift arm support device to prevent accidental lowering. When transporting a loader, follow the manufacturer's recommended loading, unloading, and tie-down procedures. Becoming a proficient Bobcat skid steer loader operator requires knowledge, skill, and good judgment. Be that operator. Viewing this presentation is just one of the ways to work toward those goals. Again, the manufacturer's operator's manual is still the best source for more information. It is impossible to cover every situation you could encounter on the job, but by following good safety practices and using good judgment, you will protect yourself and those around you. Doing your job well and doing it safely is the mark of a professional. For additional information about training resources for all Bobcat equipment, see www.bobcat.com.